So let us get started with creating the tree uh, because we actually need one. So I'm using tree it. You can use any other program. You can use speed tree. You can use, you can even model it yourself. I'm just using this uh, program because it makes really good results really quickly. You can copy and uh, mishmash what I did here in some other program as well, but I'm just going to show it how I do it in tree it. And this is my actual workflow. So it's a pretty simple program. Uh, we will head right off to trunk and let's do a trunk count of three. Now you can't see it because not a single one. Uh, they're all in the same place. And what we, I'm going to keep the trunk length, length to a hundred, but what I'm going to do is trunk crinkliness. You'll see, I'm just going to bend them a little bit. Uh, see, you can have some pretty fun, um, you can have some fun with these and make some really cool, um, effects like this, but I'm not here to do that. <laughs> I'm here to just get a, a decent result, uh, with, um, with the tree. And now bend, I want these bends to be, yeah, I want the kind of trees to be a little bit further apart from them, uh, from each other. So let's do 30 and let's do minus 30. I think that gives a decent, uh, a decent look here. Now you can always mess with these, uh, with these, uh, little shapes, but I'm not going to do that right now. So uh, because I think uh, a really simple trunk is actually just good enough for um, for what we're doing here. So also another thing, you can always go to tree and you can go edit joints and you can select each individual tree trunk and branch and just kind of configure it your way if you want to. So let me just show you an example. I can just kind of put it in here, something like this and create, uh, oh no, not that, uh, and create this little uh, um, edit. So let's go to the branch and branch count, let's do 30. Um, for begin, for, yeah, for, for starters, let's just do 30. And because most of the time you will not see the branches in their full, um, well, in their full shape, to be honest, uh, you will not see them here uh, because they will be full, almost fully covered in leaves. What I do is just lower the branch segments. We just lower all of these, um, so to say, um, uh, optimization features here and poly reduction, make it max. And I just like doing that because it makes it, um, it makes it have way less polygons and you really uh, don't need, uh, don't need high polygons for something you're not really gonna look at because it will be completely, almost completely covered in leaves. So um, we can do branchlets. Uh, let's do branchlets for beginning. Uh, 120. Uh, let's actually pump that to max. Why not? Also distribution on the branches. I like to put it to max because it's the best way you get something. And for the branch, let's same thing. Just put it to max and you can do split and split is a good way of adding more leaves. And I'm going to do a little bit of splits on the branches themselves. Yeah, that looks good. Basically it splits, it splits the branch in two and makes you have more um, more stuff on it. And again, branchlets will be almost invisible. Like you really have to try your hardest to actually see them in a tree. So branchlet segments completely down, everything completely down. So just um, put every single thing so you actually have uh, better optimization. And I'm really satisfied with how this looks. Uh, just an, just one thing I want to do is branch distortion and a little bit of crinkliness there. Just a little bit of that natural flair to it that it's actually bending. And let's go to the leaf section. 
leaf, I almost always bump up to max. And what I use is front or cross front. The other ones are not really worth your time, to be honest, because they don't uh, they don't produce good results. So I usually use front or cross front. Front is a little bit more optimized overall. Um, so we have our uh, little tree here. And what we want to do is we want to add just something on the actual uh, leaves. So we have mat material uh, separation. So we have a separate material for the leaves and separate material for the trunk here. So what we want to do is uh, scroll down here and you will have some default textures. We'll just use them. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Use anything just so it separates. Uh, yeah, this looks weird, but just so it separates uh, our uh, how to say our uh, materials. We, if you don't do this, uh, you you will be having a hard time actually separating the uh, the tree trunk and branches from the actual leaves. So just do this. Trust me. Put anything in. Really, it doesn't matter. Uh, basically, now we are done. I'm pretty satisfied with the the look of this tree. So I'm just gonna click on File and Export, and I'm just do OBJ. And I already have the folder where I usually keep this stuff and trees. You can put it wherever you like. And I'm just going to name it tree tutorial or tree course, let's say. And go in and I'm just going to create a separate folder for tree it. And this is tree course. And click save. And we're basically done. So the next step is Blender. I fire it up. And let's get into creating in Blender. If you want to learn more about the creation of these fluffy trees inside in Unreal Engine 4, you can go ahead and check out the link down below. If you use my link, you can watch the entirety of the course for free. It is a little simple course that teaches you everything about fluffy trees and gets you a lot of insight on them. So be sure to check it out. And I hope I see you in the next one.